What's up Technomaniacs? Yes, this is the video you're waiting for so long. Today I make the heart of Tony Stark Repulsor Technologies 100% working Iron Man hydrogen reactor. So what the idea and how does it work? Task number one, we need a fuel gas for epic plasma firing in the hole. And uh, task number two, I must not die, blow my hand off or poison myself with a gas. My fellow from India and Middle East asked me to show more details about Iron Man technologies, so enjoy, I did my best. I know only two things that can give us superhero powers, science and technique. If I remember my physics class correctly, we can get appropriate fuel if we pass current through the water. Then we get two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen. Gas, that name brown gas or hydroxy the most ecological gas on Earth with the fastest combustion speed in the universe. Actually, the same physics classes strongly recommend not to collect such gas in hermetic tanks, but don't mind about little things. So, the base of reactor is DC electrolyzer, round sandwich made of metal discs and rubber rings, and generated gas gives the power to repulsor. We also should add some light to electrolyzer, not only for show-off, but to see and control reaction intensity. Don't feel like using separate flashlight like in past model. Intensity control is necessary. If there is something wrong with the reactor when people being near, it might be no people soon. Upgrading new model even further, I also decided to add 10 ducts and coil. I want to check if hydroxy gas induct current in the coils like in Stanley Mayer electrical particle generator. If you fail to understand every single word, it's not a big deal. Just wanted to explain what a cool stuff I made up. All right. Enough gabbing, it's time to create! YouTube will come to fear my fantasy powers. After clarifying prices of platinum and palladium, I decided that 304 stainless steel is also a good one. All the more, we need quite a bit materials for reactor, a little bit of 1mm metal shed for electrodes and a little bit of 2mm rubber for insulators. My providers have their own opinion about a little bit, so they sent me 20 kilos of rubber and metal sheet one meter by one and a half. As Bruce Wayne said, this will have spares. Other parts like screws, hoses, tubes, nozzles, wires, old coils and relays I lent in abandoned hangar and at the junkyard. So next time when you see black and white creature going through the trash in the moonlight, don't be in hurry to throw the bottle in it. Maybe it's not a reckon, but me. Plexiglass body and metal cutting I ordered from my new friends in laser workshop. So all I need to do is to polish metal discs. I will definitely back Santa for laser machine if I be a good boy this year. At the same time, insulator, rubber rings, I cut it with grandpa all technique with help of my hands and scissors. After all, we had 14 rubber rings, 13 metal discs, two discs of plexiglass for body and one plexiglass ring for the front panel. Now that was the time to recall my McDonald's experience. Two plexiglass discs on the bottom and the top of reactor are the buns. Metal discs and rubber rings are the cutlass and cheese. And yes, it's better to assemble reactor in sterile conditions with help of tweezer and rubber gloves. There can't be any kind of outside shit in the cells because stability of reactor is highly depends of its cleanliness. <sighs> I know that the whole world go mad when the something wrong with reactors in Russia. Nozzle for water input and gas output is screwed in the back side of reactor. Tightly and reliable. If everything goes well, this place will be at close range to your chest during electrolysis. And the main part of reactor that produces the most ecological fuel from the most common substance on our planet is ready. After I unwrapped a couple of relays that delink something in plane, I have enough wire to wind 10 induction coils. I connected it in series and glued it to plexiglass ring with LED. As you can see, I worked extremely accurate. I bet it could be more views if something go wrong, according assembling, but not today, guys, okay? Now when this um, thing is already looks like mini large atom collider, inset the tube through the coils two times. Trust me, that is the most complicated operation in a whole production process. Produced gas will escape through the tubes and coils to repulsor. Now it's time to combine two parts together and connect tubes and wires. 
metal disc on the both sides is connected to positive wire and metal disc to negative. Down nozzle is for water input and uh, up one is for gas output. Connect reactor to 12 volts battery and look how water decomposes and gives you the powerful gas. Finally, you can mount reactor on a chest and introduce proper order on the streets of your city. Oh God, you're right to fight for democracy in volatile regions. Just kidding, who the heck needs democracy when they have such a thing? It's time for total control. Just kidding, if my math is right, hydroxy combustion temperature is about 11 kilojoules per liter. It means that even if I fail Comic Con this year, again, I can capture it. If I suddenly had a hole in my chest, I would mount it for the whole time. I mean, you know how it is. You're out at night looking for some fun and someone behind asks about money. <laughs> Subscribe to Alex Lab and don't miss the next hydrogen videos. Watch Repulsor Clip if you somehow missed it. Click the likes and share this video. One more million of views and I'll have new gloves and the second lamp. Bye guys. A small disclaimer for my fans who always try to repeat everything that I do. Hydrogen is a dangerous thing. But you see, I still haven't killed myself after seven years of experimenting. And the only thing I left to say, I am Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs>